Hi guys, welcome to the video. I've actually refilmed this introduction now. We're in the middle of October, so as you can see, uh, this is one of the sunflower heads they've uh, been and gone. Uh, the reason I'm doing this uh, now in October is because I've grown some absolute monsters and I just want to tell you just to make sure you stick around uh, till the end of the video so you're in a much uh, better position to, to grow your own. And um, also at the end of this video, uh, the, the world record uh, height for a sunflower is 30 feet. So I do a final measure at the end uh, of my biggest one. So enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one. I'm about to plant the sunflower plants out now. Ideally you want to put them out when they're this size uh, rather than this size because they send down a big taproot. Uh, I think I'm okay here but uh, ideally you want them out when they're about that size there. So what I'm going to do now because uh, they're really heavy feeders uh, I'm just going to for each pot I'm going to dig a, a hole about a foot down fill it all with manure. I've got some manure in the bucket there and um, yeah, dig a big hole, fill it with manure and uh, get those potted up. So uh, I'll dig my holes and then uh, we'll come back in a minute. Right, so as I say, when you're planting them, you've got the baby leaves here. So you want to basically plant up to that level, uh, as you'll see here. So um, basically nice and simple, you just dig your hole. This is still in the pot at the moment, so you just want to test it to see if you've got the right depth. So I need a little bit more there. That should be okay. Right, so hopefully you can see there, the baby leaves are covered. you just got the top bit sticking out. So that should form a good root system. And uh, you've got the manure underneath just to give it all the nutrients uh, as it starts to grow and uh, we're going to get a layer of mulch uh, put over the top of it now. So we've got the mulch here, it's just homemade compost and all you do is just put a little bit around the plant just like that. It doesn't matter if you bury up to the stem a little bit, that's fine. Uh, so this will act as a slow release um, source of nutrients as well. Right, so we've got that in there, I'm going to give this a good watering in and I'd say once a week I'm going to give it a good um, feed with uh, liquid seaweed um, and just keep it well watered really if the weather's dry, uh, top it up. Yeah, so what I'm also going to do just before I finish up, uh, I've got some uh, plastic tube in here so I'm just going to pop those over the top there just to stop any birds and things uh, getting at them while they're quite young. So when you're popping these over the plants you want to twist it down and push a little bit so you're creating a tight seal around the bottom there so when you come to water uh, you can water it in here and uh, the water won't seep out everywhere it'll be just uh, confined to uh, the area directly around the plant uh, so it can get as much water um, as you're putting into it basically. So these the sunflower plants now have been in the ground for about a month and uh, as you can see they're, they're really starting to put on some growth uh, the, the stems are getting nice and thick um, and they're, they're quite um, able to support themselves but uh, what I've done I've just popped some bamboo canes in uh, just in case you know we'll get some uh, windy weather which obviously we do in England and uh, um, my site's particularly prone to uh, uh, strong winds so it's just to support them a little bit so I've just popped these in uh, on the outside of the collar not the inside because I don't want to go through the root system. These have been in the ground now for about two months and uh, they've still got quite a bit of growing to do. Obviously they're doing really well uh, but we just need to give it that extra boost. So I've got some um, chicken manure pellets here um, which I bought a big tub for £7 at the local garden centre. And uh, all I'm doing uh, now just to give it that extra boost, so this is a slow release uh, fertiliser. So just to replenish anything in the soil. So we're just going to sprinkle this around the collar. You can, you, you can go in the collar a little bit but it, it doesn't matter either way. So all I'm doing is just sprinkling it 
around the collar. So quite a few, uh, just like that. So uh, when we do water it, the goodness in the pellets will trickle down uh, through the soil and just uh, give it the extra boost uh, for the last period of um, growth. They are self-supporting because the stems are obviously so thick, but um, the other week uh, we did get some quite high winds and this is quite an open site. So what I've done here, I've whacked this in so it's dead tight. I've just ran some string all the way around the stake, right around the stem of the sunflowers. So the wind tends to come in from this direction, I think it's northwesterly possibly. So this just stops them getting blown and uh, just adds a bit of extra support. <laughs> So this is going to be a final measure just to see how big they are. Uh, now the world record is 30 feet, that's set by um, some German guy and uh, these are looking pretty big so you never know. So I'm going to get those uh, measured now and I'll tell you just how tall they are. Uh, one thing as well before I go up the ladders, uh, if you're watching this video just like all my other ones, if you can please hit the like button because that way YouTube's algorithms get all of it and send it to other people's screens and hopefully they click on it so uh, it just helps grow the channel. So, thanks for that. So, I'll get up these ladders and get it measured. Right, so I've been up. I've got my little measuring tape there. Now, the world record was 30 feet. As I say, set by some German guy, and I'll be kind enough to put his name in the video. Um, so this, uh, the tallest one here, is 12 feet. So I'm quite pleased. It's not that bad. Hopefully next year I'll uh, get them a bit bigger. Yeah, so 12 foot I'm quite happy with. So as I say, if you've enjoyed that, uh, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And um, I'll see you in the next video.